All right, so today we're going to start our next section of notes in the metric system. Today we're going to focus in on the idea of what weight is. Now, weight, you have a general idea of what it is, but you may not know what it actually is, especially when considering in the metric system. Um, so we're going to make sure we clear up any of those uh, misconceptions that you might have with it and then truly define what weight is. All right, so first things first, our purpose for the day, as that's always really important for us to define. First things first, object or objective number one, we want to know the SI unit for weight. Again, the SI unit is that official unit. What's that main unit that we're going to use? Number two, we need to be able to measure weight using a spring scale. So you should have an idea of, okay, how are we measuring weight using a spring scale? And number three, be able to explain the difference between mass and weight. So we'll talk about how they're related, but also tell us two different things, and we need to know what those differences are. I will also remind you as we go through these notes, you should be writing down information that I especially emphasize while we're going through the video or tell you to write down. You should also make sure to be listening because maybe I'll say something that you find could be important or maybe sounds important. Uh, you want to make sure you have that down. Of course, in that side margin of your notes, if you have a question and you want it answered, write that question down. And then when we discuss our notes as a class, we can then answer those. So please make sure you are using that right hand column of your note sheet. All right, so then focusing in on those metric units uh, for weight. So we'll de kind of define that and tell us what units we have. The first thing is, all right, so weight refers to the amount of gravity's pull on an object's mass. So now here's what's really important that we want to make sure we emphasize here. So there's this word mass, and we've talked about mass. Okay, mass is really, in a very simple definition, uh, it's that amount of matter, or kind of like the stuff, an object has. All right, so if that's what we're looking at, then our weight refers to the amount of gravity's pull on that object's mass. So it's, you know, it's related to this idea of mass. However, gravity's pull is this kind of new piece. So gravity is the new piece when it comes to weight, which what's what makes weight weight. All right, so if we're continuing on here, the base unit, uh, let's get the right color on there, the base unit of weight in the metric system is the Newton, which is represented by a capital letter N, and then kind of that important piece, this is also the SI unit. So before we get mass, the base unit and the SI unit are actually two different things things. One thing I will actually emphasize here as well is when we're converting the metric system, we don't really ever have like millinewtons or kilonewtons. We really just have newtons. Um, so while it is technically the base unit, it's basically just newtons. Uh, weight can change based on location. Okay, so that is also kind of an important piece of information here. Now I don't have it bolded, but I kind of want you to highlight that still. Uh, it can, uh, so weight... Uh, can change. Oh, there's a fun little typo in there. Let's fix that. So weight can change based on location. So uh, can weight can change, and we'll just kind of say location. Okay. And then weight is not. What do you guys think? A highlighter that's bolded in in all caps. Probably important, right? Weight is not the same thing as mass. They are two different things. All right, so let's look at mass versus weight. So again, if you look at this idea, mass is the amount of matter in an object, whereas weight is the effect of gravity on the mass of the object, all right? So again, there's that extra piece of the gravity. So if we're kind of looking at this, so could a person have a mass and no weight? Is something like that possible? Now, before we answer that, let's talk about a scenario. 
So let's say that we have an astronaut here and they go on the moon and they go on the earth. But now nothing really changes about them, so their mass in both, the, in both of these scenarios is 120 kilograms. Okay, do we see that? Now, the weight is 200 newtons on the moon. We're like, oh, okay, so I have a weight. Now if I come back to the earth, we now look at my weight is actually 1200 newtons. And you see this multiple of 10, um, which is representing gravity. It's, that's a rounded version of it. So if we look at that, my weight changed. Now my person is still the same. Okay, my ma or mass wise, it's still the same, right? I haven't changed, I haven't lost an arm or anything. I'm still that person, I'm still the astronaut. The only thing that changed is my location. So, in theory, if we had a person go somewhere where there was no gravity, then, well, what do you think? Could we have a person of mass be in a location and have no weight? Yeah, absolutely you could. Um, if we're in just kind of the void of space where there really isn't any gravity or a measurable amount, then no, we don't have a weight. We still have a mass, we just don't have a weight. So that's a really, really important distinction between the two, is you could have a huge mass, but no weight, because there wouldn't be actually gravity having an effect on you, because there just wouldn't be. You need a lot of mass in order to actually have gravity occur. All right, so now this final piece, we're going to look at, okay, that's great. We know, so now we know what weight is. We know how it's different than mass. How do we measure it? How do we know? So with this, how this is going to work is, so we measure weight using a tool called the spring scale, okay? So a spring scale tells us the weight in newtons. Now, a couple of things. You want to be careful because on our spring scales, there's one side that's labeled newtons and one side that's labeled grams. You want to make sure you're using the side that's labeled Newtons, okay? Now, all you really do is you take your object. So, let's say we have, you know, a, a box here and we have it looped on the end of our spring scale. Okay, now that box is going to pull down. Okay, well, it's going, right, because you know if you're holding an object, it if you let go, it falls down. So, it's going to pull down on the spring up here. And so that's going to have kind of this downward motion. If it does that, our spring goes down as well. Now the amount that it goes down, we can read just as we have read all of our different measurements. So like on a graduate cylinder or off a metric ruler, all those things, we look at where this level lines up and that tells us the number of newtons or the weight of that object. Okay, and we'll have a variety of them in different colors. The different colors represent how much it can measure up to. Some of them only measure two and a half newtons, and we have ones that go up to 10 newtons or even more, okay, as they go up in weight for that object. The ones we'll probably primarily be using in class are going to be the blue one, the green ones, and the brown ones. Those are kind of the ones we'll be really using in class. All right, and that's it. That's all that we really need to know for weight. So kind of checking in with that understanding, go ahead, write a summary of our notes here. Remember, you box it in. So one, know the SI unit for weight, right? That's one thing you want to accomplish, right? What's that SI unit for weight? Number two, we need to be able to measure weight using a spring scale. All right, so how do we do that? And three, be able to explain the difference between mass and weight. So how are they different? What, you know, maybe what's similar about them, but what's that really real important piece? What does weight have that mass doesn't? What does weight uh, need in order to be weight? And that ends our notes on weight in the metric system. Uh, until the next notes that we have. Thanks for watching.